So now we're going to go ahead and find the equation of a circle. And what we're going to find is that the equation of a circle has a lot, or really everything, to do with a triangle. So first off, let's talk about what an equation actually is, because that's going to be important moving forward. So an equation tests whether or not a point is actually part of that relationship. So in other words, we need to somehow figure out a way of relating this circle to a point that is actually on the circle. And the way we're going to do that is first by picking some random point. And I'm making it a random point by not actually picking a specific point. I am picking a general point, x, y. Now, I somehow have to relate that to the um, parts of this circle. One of those parts is going to be the center. So let's go ahead and just draw a line between those two. And of course, that is just called the radius. So I'm going to use the center and the radius and relate them to this point. Well, to do that, you might have guessed it, we're going to draw a right triangle. So let's go ahead and draw those other two components of the right triangle. So now I just need to find the length of these two legs. Well, that should be pretty easy. I know that this leg right here is just the distance from y to k. So y minus k. And then I know that the horizontal distance from point to point is just going to be x minus h, the distance from x to h. Now I can just apply the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that is my theorem, where r is, of course, the radius. And as I already wrote down, the center of the circle is h, k. And again, the points here, x, y, refer to any of the points on my circle. When we actually try to use these equations, we might want to look at this in a slightly different way. So let's just take the equation of some random um, circle. And now we have to relate that to what we know that the general form of a circle is. Well, let's again look at this in that slightly different way, in that this x minus h is really just the distance from the center to the point in the horizontal direction. So if I want to figure out what the center is, if I just take those directions, x plus 3, and I say, you know what? I don't want to travel any distance at all. I want this blue segment here just to be 0 so I stay right at the center. Then I should be able to find my center. So that will be the x coordinate of my center. So there's my h. And then we can do the same thing for the y. Again, I don't actually want to travel up at all. I want to stay right here at the center. So I want this leg to equal 0. Well, that is my vertical component. And I want my vertical component here to equal 0. That gives me my k. And so the center is just going to be negative 3, negative 2. I want you to keep in mind this graph is not of this function. I'm just using it for reference. And then the last piece is that I know this part right here is just the hypotenuse squared. And that the hypotenuse itself is just the radius. So I know that r squared is equal to 25. So r must be five. I now have the most important parts of a circle. I have the center and I have the radius. So I really understand exactly what's going on in this particular circle.